We saw some really cold temperatures today, and as we woke up, we were in those 30s, and we didn't get out of them. We were in those 30s for all of the afternoon. It was really muggy conditions today, and kind of a bad day to be outdoors as it was chilly and we had that fog and misty conditions uh, again as we look at the month of November though we started the month off with those more above average temperatures and we kind of cooled down towards the middle of the month we started seeing those below average temperatures and those have stuck around for some time again we saw that high of 39 today that's a really chilly again below our average of 68 and that high today actually being low than our average low of 41 and then again that low today seeing that low 35 again that very small range of temperatures as we only saw those temperatures between 35 and 39 today we did have some precipitation today again about a tenth of an inch here in San Angelo but again not too much rain but enough to keep us going again look at this beautiful sky you see that beautiful sunset and then we see those downtown lights you get really bright the roads look really beautiful as they're kind of bringing that light and really reflecting the light off of the road and right now our temperature we're sitting at 39 again it's getting really cold dew point is at 36 it's really humid out there humidity is up in those 80s 89 percent right now and those winds out of the southeast at four miles per hour that's really calm and light winds and we're kind of seeing similar conditions to what we were seeing last night at this time we were expected to warm up so we have warmed up just a little bit but still only by about a degree or two as we were seeing those really chilly t conditions earlier this afternoon and across the Concho Valley again our temperatures right now we're all sitting mostly in that 39 range there's a lot of 39s some of us a little bit cooler we're seeing some 36s Eden and Brady sitting at 36 a couple of 37s as well across the board as we're going to kind of cool down we'll continue to cool down and across the state of Texas again those northern parts of the state also seeing those 30s but those southern parts of the state still holding on to some 40s and 50s as they're not cooling down as fast as we are we're going to continue to see just some clouds in the sky as we go through the next couple of days. We'll see some showers off to the east of us, but none really here in the Concho Valley. We'll just kind of see some calm conditions here in the Concho Valley, really no rain. And for our next 12 hours, again, we'll see those really cool conditions through our overnight hours, but we'll start to warm up tomorrow. Tonight, though, reaching that low of 36. It'll be a chilly night, and those winds will stay pretty calm out of the south. And tomorrow, we'll kind of see those temperatures start to increase. We'll warm up up into those 50s for our highs, 56. And that cloud coverage will be more prominent towards our morning hours. And then we, as we go through tomorrow, we'll kind of start to see our cloud coverage really start to decrease. And again, starting that seven-day forecast, we'll see those really cool temperatures on Monday, though we are starting to increase those temperatures, starting to rise. We'll get into those 60s by Tuesday. We'll kind of see that increase. We'll kind of start to continue that increase. You'll see those uh, those lows actually getting out of those 30s, getting into more some seasonable temperatures, especially by Thanksgiving. We'll see those upper 60s, a really nice Thanksgiving forecast. And then we'll have those windy conditions on Thanksgiving, though, as we have a cold front coming through that'll drop us for Friday. But then we'll increase those temperatures back to those upper 60s Saturday and those 70s by Sunday.